Okay, Alexis, thank you. Well, winter months just around the corner. Temperatures are going to be diving. An effort to address Toledo's homelessness issue. The numbers are trending in the wrong direction as we see one of the ripple effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. I-Team reporter Sean Hegarty has a look at the help that's coming. Rental assistance ending, relief packages drying up, and evictions starting up again. Just some of the factors that are leading to homelessness numbers on the increase at a time when people really need shelter. At St. Paul's Community Center in downtown Toledo, COVID has increased demand, and another COVID winter is expected to do that again. We have two choices. I have the key to the door. I can either say, okay, staff, lock up the door, don't let anybody in, or I can say, no way, people are outside, it's cold, it's sub-freezing, they're going to die, they don't have, we got to do something. $100,000 now coming from the United Way of Greater Toledo and will be split between St. Paul's and other Toledo shelters. They'll be flexible dollars so each group can use them as they see fit. We were um, disinfecting and cleaning hourly. So the amount of supplies that we go through is tremendous. You've got to think about how difficult it is to fill positions in our community as it is, whether it's stores and restaurants, we know that to be true. So imagine how hard it is to find temporary shelter workers for the winter. That is what they're up against. There are hundreds waiting to get into shelters in Toledo, and those numbers could increase at any time. For example, the days in on Miami Street. Nearly four dozen people live there long term, and a judge has now ordered the hotel to be closed. A days in situation is urgent, mm -hmm. and we certainly can't be responsible for putting people out on the street. Rachel Gagnon and the Toledo Lucas County Homelessness Board say they're trying to distribute resources equitably and trying to get as many people into housing as possible, getting them out of a cycle that takes a toll on someone physically and mentally. With that, I think comes a lot of bias on how folks get to this space. Um, and I would just argue that any one of us are closer to homelessness at any point than we are to being a billionaire. And the homelessness statistics are not moving in the right direction. According to the United Way, from June to August of this year, the United Way's 211 saw a 400% increase on people added to the shelter waiting list. Reporting live in Toledo, Sean Hegarty, 13 ABC Action News.